Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here and I'm back and I'm here to do a video for you. This is only the only one video for tonight, but I'm here to talk about none other, guess what, Princess Switch. But I'm also going to be talking about in this, in Princess Switch, a prince, a, a Christmas prince, a Christmas prince, the wedding, Christmas prince, the royal baby. Because y'all, y'all probably wondering why I'm talking about the those this this last movie in this movie. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. So in um, Princess Switch three, we are into um, it starts back with Stacy. Um, Stacy and Margaret and their husbands, Margaret, as you remember in the last movie, married Stacy's best friend, Kevin, and Olivia is over and is actually studying over in the, is at a, um, studying over in the U.S. and everything, and y'all, I actually adored this movie right here. This, I mean, I adored the first one, I adored the second one, I adored this the third one and I will give y'all a little bit of insight why I think we should have a fourth movie a fourth one in a fifth one so I'm going to do that as well so um so with this movie um we're um in this movie we're going to um see um these two young ladies Stacy and Margaret um you know they are you know, they big royalty where they stay at. And um, they invited us um, is have to start alone from the Vatican. And as they go on and stuff, none other, they thought it was an inside job happened and the star is stolen. So they are trying to figure out and they said, we got to have somebody who's cunning, who's witty, who would know if it was sold, could be sold on the black market. They said, we need Fiona. And they said, oh, and they go, no, 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 no. So we go on to Fiona. Fiona is actually mopping the floor. Yeah, in some heels. And I, I can't, I think it's. I, and I recognize the heels because I think the heels are Brian Archwood. I think that's the name of the um, the brand of the shoes because that's what they look like. Look like um, a 2015-2016 shoe. I can't think of the um, I'm like I'm saying. I think it's Brandon Archwood shoe and. Because it has the butterflies on it. And she's mopping the floor. And stuff. Y'all. Let me just tell you this. Because I noticed um, some of the fashion pieces. I'm going to get on to that as well. None other. Margaret comes in. She's sitting in the chair. She has this beautiful champagne. From top. From the top of her head to the bottom of her face, champagne. She has the champagne hat on. She has the champagne dress with the champagne, like woven type, like coat and stuff with the matching shoes. And she's in the chair and her legs is sort of like, one leg is sort of, it's like kind of cross sideways. And she goes, um, and she asks, Fiona, she wants Fiona to come and spend Christmas with her and think if the uh, nun or the nuns allow it and they allow her and stuff like that. Okay, none other. So, none other. The only way that Fiona was going to work with them, you got to let her flunkies, Chloe, and Jay out. So, they got out as well. With that, with Fiona's help, Fiona knew who to go to. They had get the help to help them. None other. Her longtime best friend was from childhood, Patrick Maxwell. Now Patrick Maxwell did get into some trouble when a little bit. He did work for a certain government agency, a um, a government agency. But after the situation that he was acquitted for, 
um, kind of ruined his career. So he went into business for himself and he does security and stuff like that. So y'all, that's that. So now you get the backstory. So they kind of knew who to go after. And um, Fiona said, I know who that is and stuff like that. So she like enticed him and stuff. But then it was like, they need somebody who, so they was doing some practice and Jay said, oh, I got this. And he set off the trick um, alarm that they was working with. And she goes, nah, that's not how you do it. You see Fiona take off her heels, y'all. She took off her heels. Because every time we would see Fiona from the last movie to this movie, she always had like some, like, um, I think five or six inch heels on. And thing, and I think, and I think uh, Vanessa Hutchins is no height. I think Vanessa Hutchins is about my height, about five foot three, five foot, um, five foot three, five foot four, five foot five max. And you see her take off the heels, and she's doing this thing, and you see um, her and Patrick like come face to face. He pop her up, flip her up, y'all. It was like crazy. It was beautiful and like i'm saying some of the fashion pieces in this episode you kind of from this from the last two movies to now you see the progression of them and stuff and one of the progressions i like was none other fiona from the last movie to this movie the the fashion is sort of kind of elaborate and some some of the pieces you see some of the incredible um embroidery and stuff you might recognize from a certain site. I want to literally say that. You can you recognize it and stuff. And y'all, let me just tell you, I think Fiona's fashion this um in this time of this time around is pretty great. But like I'm saying, I'm not gonna tell you the ending of the film, but let me just say they do. Only thing I will tell you, they did get um the star bag. And we are finally introduced to Fiona's mom. And then it was like, we was trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out what her mom was in part of, was part of it. And she goes, well, 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 look, if the apple don't fall far from the tree. And we actually get to hear Fiona, why they call, uh, we get why Fiona don't, goes by Fiona. She don't like to be called by her real name. And her real name, you have to listen to when she has this very heart-to-heart -heart conversation, um, brash conversation with her mother. And you're going to hear her name. And you have to watch. I'm not going to give it to you. But all I can say is Fiona's first name starts with a P. And so that's all I can tell you. you got to watch the whole film. So when it comes to it, all all in all, I have to give this movie a ten out of, um, a nine out of ten. It's pretty good. It starts off slow, but you it finally picks up. One of my favorite scenes is when Fiona is trying to get Margaret to learn her mannerisms and stuff like that. And when she first did, she go, "I don't talk like that," and they go, "Yes, you do." And then, like, when, um, when Margaret did it, she stand up. So, anytime Mar uh, Fiona always would come in, y'all know I was Stacy's husband. She always go in, and she always do this, like, uh, like sort of like this, like, like, sound and stuff. But, y'all, let me just tell y'all something. I always get a trip, and she, this time she did it, Margaret did it to Kevin. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, and that is hilarious. Now, as of that, so one part of the film that is very interesting, not the non-honorary, um, the nuns call to the house and say, can they bring um, Fiona back? And they go, why? And they said, well, they, we thought they was going to have her, um, her hearing on the 26th. They doing it tonight on New Year's Eve. And they said, oh my God. And they had just left. Stacy said, I gotta go and do it. And her husband said, well, we in this together. So Stacy, the maid again, um, dressed Stacy's up as um as Mark. And she goes to the parole board and stuff. And she's released from the parole board. Thanks. 
to key network there we go key network now i'm gonna get into some themes of why i think i think princess switch why i think princess switch and a christmas prince a Chris, christmas prince a christmas prince the royal wedding christmas prince the royal baby if y'all remember that this is with King Richard, Emma, uh, em, Emma and Ellery. I think y'all know what movie I'm talking about. Why I think they are in the same universe. The reason is was because of la um, the last princess switch. If you didn't see it in the last princess switch, let me explain. I did talk about it, but in the last princess switch movie, when I did talk about it, I said I saw King Richard, Baby Ellery and Emily, I think that's her name. Emma, Emily, I think Emily, I think that's his wife. And from there, I said, that's, I think they are in the same universe. Okay, somebody from there again this year in this Princess Switch actually was in there and they knew, and they knew Fiona, Cousin Fiona. Who do you think will know Cousin Fiona? Mm, what's that? Mm. I'll give you a second. I'll wait. If you said Sam from IA, if you're thinking of Sam from the um, A Christmas Prince, um, then yes. But but in this movie, Sam is around these girls. And I said, wait, 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 where your wife, where your wife, where your wife? But he did have a wedding band on. So I'm going, okay, all right. All right, so he's at this party too, and I'm going, okay. So that gives, um, and then in the beginning of the film, you hear them say, Pinglia. Now, if you remember in the last, um, in the last a prince a a Christmas prince the royal baby you hear them you hear them say Pinglia Pinglia has been associated with these with this other movie so that's why I'm saying these movies are in the same universe y'all I want to hear what y'all gotta say what do how did y'all did y'all like um Princess Switch, and then do y'all agree with me that a a Christmas Prince, a Christmas Prince, the royal um the royal wedding and the royal baby is all part of the same universe. Until then, y'all, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.